Hi there, and welcome to this how-to Photoshop video. Today we're inspired by an artist called Laura Williams. She was famous a few years ago for posing, holding a mirror and posing in such a way that it looked like she disappeared behind it. She went on to lots more photographs with holding mirrors and the appearance of disappearance. Um, lots of her work is very well composed and you can explore and find out more about her by searching her up on the internet. So this is what we're going to do. I've taken two photographs. There's a picture of myself holding a mirror. And I took a picture of exactly the same scene without me in it, apart from my shoulder. So we've got the idea of what's going to be behind it. We'll do a little bit of illusion work here. So once we've got our mirror, because it's a circle, I can use the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm going to make myself have a very easy time today. I'm going to use a grid to draw across where the edge of my circle is, taking it from the ruler. If we haven't got the ruler out, you have to go to show rulers in view and then tick next to rulers. Mine's already there, so I draw my little grid by dragging a line out. I then select my elliptical marquee tool and I line it up in the corner, drag it down and it should fit absolutely perfectly where the mirror is. Now, You'll notice there's a little bit of fingers here, which I'm holding the mirror with. I want to keep that in my picture, so we're going to do some little bits of clever trickery, okay? First thing we're going to do, make sure we're on this layer, make sure the layer has been rasterized. And you can tell if it hasn't, because there's little squares here. I've made sure it is rasterized and I'm ready to go. So on the keyboard, or I'll do it this way, edit, cut, which is control X on the keyboard, and then edit paste and there is the piece of mirror and I line it back up exactly where it was before I go any further I'm going to exactly lined up with the fingers otherwise what I'm going to do in a minute won't work very well I think I've gone too far down there we go okay now I don't need to see the guidelines anymore so I'm going to go view and clear guides I'm going to make sure the picture is exactly right if I hide it you can see there's the um, illusion of what's behind me coming through where I'm stood. So, what I've got to do now is just quick select tool, select the small pieces of fingers that I accidentally cut off. There's far too much there, so I use the minus and get rid of bits of it. It's going to be one of those days where it doesn't go perfect first time. So click there, click there, that's what I want. So I'm just going to control C, control V, those onto a new layer, and then hide that layer. Make sure they are exactly where I want them. And Click on that, there you go, there, there's my really quick way of doing a reflection of the scene behind you. It's almost like you've got a black hole where your head is. Okay, have fun experimenting with some reflection photography and explore Laura Williams' work and have fun. Okay, thank you very much for watching and um, if you enjoyed the videos, make sure you pop a subscribe and a thumbs up. Thank you very much and thank you for watching.